Hi, Alex Almeida here from EMC's Backup and Recovery Technical Marketing Team. EMC Avamar's feature set already includes several use cases where end users of applications and client systems are able to perform their own data recoveries without the need for creating an IT help desk call. Features aimed to address empowering the end users in EMC's data protection suite have brought about significant operational expense savings while at the same time not compromising security and control typically in the hands of the enterprise backup team. In this demo, I will walk you through a newly announced capability in Avamar 7 that brings empowerment to virtual machine end users in performing their own data recoveries, both a single file, group of files, and or directories from VM image backups. And you can see here, I'm in a specific Windows uh, virtualized system here, um, and I've opened up a direct web browser connection directly to the Avamar instance um, that I have here, which is a portal that uh, administrators can provide to their end users to log into. And to log into, I have two choices. I can log in with the local administrator credentials or the user credentials that I log into the virtual machine directly, or I can do what's called an advanced login and actually log in with the vCenter admin credentials and access any backup of any virtual machine that has been protected across that entire vCenter. But for now, I'm just interested in recovering a single file that we've lost out of this particular virtual machine. So I'm just going to log in with the Windows administrator credentials, again, of this particular virtual machine that I'm logged into. So we log in directly from the virtual machine into this portal, which connects back into the Avamar server. And you can see here, I have here a, a backup that was done on July 8th. And what I'm going to do is select that backup and go ahead and mount that backup. So what this is going to do is allow us to browse the file system natively inside of that backup image. Now that I've closed the mounting window, what I'm going to do is go in here and browse the actual backup. And you can see here now that I can browse the actual file system as if I were on Windows Explorer on the actual system. So I'm going to go here to the directory where I know that the file I need to recover is. It's on the desktop of this specific user. And what I'm going to do is click on the folder that contains that file and I see a listing of all the files that are in there. And it's this particular test file.txt that I want to recover. So I'm going to go ahead and select that file. And again, I could select any group of files or any directories at all to restore. Um, and now I'm going to say restore selected files. And now I'm going to specify exactly where I want those files to go. They can go to the exact original location where I can put them there as well. Or I can go ahead and put them in the new location. For this demonstration, I'm just going to go ahead and put them on our desktop here that I'm logged into and I'm logged into as the administrator. So I'm just going to put it on the desktop and just say restore. Yes, I want to initiate the restore job. Successfully initiated. And before I could say OK on successfully initiated, you see that the file has been recovered here. And if I open up this file, there is content there uh, to be read. And there you go. So the file has been completely restored uh, to our desktop, which was actually an out of place recovery. So this concludes this demo. As you can see, performing file level recoveries from an entire VM image backup is not only easy to perform as it has been from a backup administrator perspective, but now backup administrators can rest easy and free up time for other tasks that need to be done in the enterprise by empowering VM owners in performing their own data recoveries. Thanks for watching this demo, and please check out all of the other videos and demos available on our YouTube site.